Hi everyone, welcome back to African Real Estate. Today we address the elephant in the room. Last week we did a video at Tbilisi Views and the estate adopted an open design architecture. The units came with picture windows that gave you seamless views to the rest of the estate. The only separation between you and your neighbor was just a life fence. Today we are at Gong and this is an estate of four units. As you can see, each unit is surrounded by a perimeter wall and on top of it an electric fence will be made. These units come with metal casement doors and windows and on top of that you have grills inside. The attention to security in this estate is so paramount to the extent that each unit comes with two front doors. But my question is, does the attention to security in this estate make it more secure than the estate that we did last week? Let me ask you a question. When was the last time that you heard there was a robbery in your estate? Or when was the last time that you heard your neighbor or your friend has been marked? Give me your answers in the comment section below. My answer is, security is a non-issue in more than 95% of the homes that we showcase. Generally, Kenya is a secure country, unless you're watching the wrong media. On the other hand, you cannot be guaranteed of 100% security unless you are living in a bunker or a police station. Let's jump to the business of the day. Next to me is the three-bedroom bungalow with a print area of 150 square meters. This unit has been built on a 50 by 100 lot and the price is 12 million. As you can see, the unit comes with a very big parking area and next to me you have the front yard. On top of that, the unit comes with a gazebo on this far end. By the way, this estate is exactly one kilometer from the tarmac and exactly 2.5 kilometers from Gong Town. From here, I want to take all of you inside, but before that, science say that architectural design are a reflection of people's minds. Let's get inside and see if we can see through the minds of this architect. From the entrance, this living room is triangular in shape but with chopped edges. On my right hand side, this living room comes with a chimney. I know you don't understand why. Gong is a big town and next to it you have a big forest called the Gong Forest. So it's easy for you to get a few rolls of firewood after the forest department has done its annual pruning. But for the people who are environmental conscious and environmental friendly, the chimney can be gas powered. This wall acts as the focal point of this unit. So here is where you put your TV and your other electronics. But you can also choose to put your TV on the platform above the chimney. On the other side of the unit, you have the dining area and the kitchen on my far right. But before you come with me to the dining area, take a look at this gypsum ceiling. As you can see, the dining area is big enough to fit a table set of six to eight people and it comes with this doom-shaped window section. This dining area also comes with a wash basin to clean your hands just before you do your meals. This home adopts the open plan formula and this cabinet separates the dining area from the kitchen. As you can see, the kitchen is very big and it comes with its sink area on this head. The sink area is a double sink and it comes with a small section part here for your detergents. This kitchen comes with dark granite countertops all over and I'm very sure you can agree with me that the storage here is on another level. Next to me, you have this section that has been set aside for your cooking stove. Your refrigerator can be kept in two places. It can be kept in the pantry or it can be kept at the far end of the kitchen. This door leads to the laundry and the clothes area, but I'll show you that after I have shown you the pantry. Come with me. This is the biggest pantry among all the bungalows that we have showcased in this channel. The pantry is not sectioned yet, but it will be sectioned on your request. This pantry is big to fit all your dry foods. I will show you the laundry area. The laundry area and the clothes lines area is on this other side of the unit. Follow me. This is the laundry area and it also acts as the clothes lines area and as you can see it's big enough and underneath it you have the septic tank and a bio digester. For now they are using it to store the ladders. Let's get back inside.
From the laundry area, the bedroom area of this unit is on this other side. The primary bedroom is on the far right, and the common washroom separates the first and the second kids' bedrooms. Let me show you the first kids' bedroom. This is the first bedroom. First, it's sunken, and from the look of things, this bedroom has been set aside for the boys. Why I say this is because, as you can see, the colors are more natural and more settled. The bedroom comes with its window here, and the closet is next to it. The closet is not floor to ceiling, but it would be if you have the biggest boys in the world. The closet comes with a section for the hangable clothes and a similar section on the other side. The closet also comes with two drawers down there. Let me show you the shared toilet. The shared toilet is one of the biggest that you have seen in this channel. The only thing that makes it very unique is the dark colors. The bathroom comes with its water closet here and you have a section here for your showering. The washroom also comes with these two compartments that will act as your soap holders. The washroom also comes with a broken shower head and on this other side you have your mirror and a wash basin. The mirror comes with these two mini shells for the toothpaste and a shaving light. That is if you allow your boys to shave their beards in your house. Let me take you to the second bedroom. The second bedroom is here. As you are all aware, this bedroom has been set aside for your girls and you are witnessing with me the madness of this color scheme. By the way ladies, why do you like such colors? Leave your answer in the comments below. This room comes with this dome-shaped window section and the closet is here. The closet is just similar to the one that we saw in the boys room but this one is floor to ceiling. I'll take you to the primary bedroom. The primary bedroom is next to the girl's bedroom. You don't know why, but I think the girl child needs to be protected. It is the irony of life, but we all know the boy child suffers more. Enough with my nonsense. This is the primary bedroom, and it's beautiful. I love these colors. If I was given a chance, I would choose this color every Time. This room comes with a dome-shaped window and an extra window on this side. On my left hand side, you have the closet of this primary bedroom and it has been set to act like his and hers. That means that this section of the closet can be for you and this other for your partner. At the center here, we have this section that has been set aside to act as the dresser and we have some section there maybe for the shoes and extra drawers up here. This bedroom comes with its bathroom here. As you can see, this is not the biggest bathroom for 12 million. So I'm giving you a reason to negotiate. The bathroom comes with a wash basin here and a water closet. On this other side, you have the bathroom area and it comes with these two compartments. That's all for this bathroom. We have come to the end of the tour. I hope you have enjoyed. Please subscribe to this channel and like this video for us to access better or similar properties. That's all for today and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.